Jort in Texas here. Thank you for joining and we are on classic ground Circuit de la Sarte. This is the sixth race in the manufacturer's uh, series and I'm driving the McLaren as usual. So I qualified fifth which was really good. I had 12 on the door so uh, high expectations for this race at this point. This is my second race today. The other one was a disaster where I spun out because I was uh, further back so I went through the chicane and I spun out in the chicane. So that wasn't a good thing. So I'm on hard tires. My strategy here is to uh, be uh, you know no stop. So uh, I need to battle the guys that has mediums uh, like this guy here. We're gonna see a lot of all the snap on. So this is all about slipstreaming. Stay close enough to the guy in front to benefit from here. So the problem is if you're sitting behind the train of cars and you're not within the slipstream they are gonna just leave you behind. So here's the slipstream effect. You see that? I'm managing to, uh, to pass him. So you're gonna see something interesting here. So I'm coming up here and he's kind of tapping me a little bit on my rear quarter panel and I get the three second penalty and SR down. So here's another view from his view. So he's kind of, I'm clearly ahead of him and he's tapping on me. That's another view. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous view by the way. So he's kind of touching me there on the quarter panel right there. I'm not really doing any moves on him and I get this three second penalty. I thought they had uh, fixed that. So that obviously puts a damper on my uh, day at this point, still in, in fifth. So I'm thinking maybe I can push and uh, just um, get enough distance to the pack behind before I have to serve the penalty. Coming into the this chicane here, I'm passing, and then there's some mayhem behind. So now I'm sitting in fourth behind the the Honda. And you see slipstream and the power from the McLaren. Coming into this tight right-hander. Going wide. But still staying ahead of the Honda. He's 0.2 behind, so... Slipstream. And here he comes. Passing me on the right hand side. And this is my weakest point in this whole track. I really don't know what I'm doing. And look at this. I'm tapping this guy. I feel bad. He didn't go off track. I didn't get a penalty. But yeah, that wasn't good. So this sector here, it's clearly not a good sector for me. And here I'm serving the three second penalty. One, two three, four cars and this guy passes me five cars. I lost five positions. So now it's just heads down. Head down, try to uh, recover as much as possible. But on this track it's never good to be in front of a pack like this when you get into the last chicane. So I'm trying just to keep a little distance and here they can I just get all bunched up and now I'm way too close to this Toyota. So I'm thinking a little bit what should I do. I don't want to miss my braking points. So I go a little bit on the inside here. And yeah, someone was ghosting out. So and Mustang on my left tried to nibble a little bit. So I'm coming out of this one okay. Didn't get any 
track penalties or anything like this. I have the Mustang behind me. Ah, going a little bit strange line here. Try to avoid to get any. Uh, it, it's weird where you get the off track penalty there. I think it's mostly on the first turn. Coming in a little bit weird here again on the apex. I don't want to get fall too far behind here. And I go way off. I was keeping an eye on the guys in front, I think, and so I get my point one point five here, which was really, really unnecessary. So totally now I have racked up four point five in penalties. I'm going on the inside because I don't want to miss the breaking point. Get reminded that I'm going to serve my penalty. It's another penalty in front that's going to be served. Missed the, the gear. So here yeah, I'm losing a couple of more positions. So now there's one more. So now in 11th. So I lost a lot of uh, positions from uh, going wider, which was simply unnecessary. The previous race I lost about 500 DRs, so this uh, Mercedes there is slipping and fishtailing, I'm getting up next to him. I was holding off a little bit there not to be aggressive and, and he's he, uh, fishtailing into me. So here we're drag racing. We had the Viper coming behind there. You see he's on the Mercedes uh, right hand. So I'm trying to defend. I'm going wide. So now this Benz is sitting behind me. I'm trying to defend a little bit. Try to get him to be on my outside. And then we have someone behind me. So I'm coming in this tight in this corner, which is not my favorite. So I'm basically just backing off. So instantly I'm losing another two positions and this whole uh, lot of cars goes into the hairpin here. And I'm missing the break point completely. I don't go off, but uh, yeah, I'm in 13th place. We're still not done with the second lap. But it's a classic racetrack. This is, I think, this is my first race I've done on this track, like in the FIA and all that. So now we have this uh, icicles the Subaru it's a pretty aggressive guy he kind of just went by me there but yeah, I mean he's clearly faster so I'm okay so now I'm in 14th and I started fifth so a little bit of work to do in the next few laps try to be conservative here and this is also not a strong point of mine. And here we see there's a lot of people uh, changing the tires. So we're jumping forward to lap six because basically the laps were spent to catching up with uh, icicles in his Subaru. So now I caught up and uh, so he's, he's caught up with uh, kind of the midfield people here so we're gonna see a serve, uh, penalty being served so now I'm really trying to avoid any type of penalties on that turn there so goes pretty well I get a good exit and now I'm catching up with icicles 
so icicles is on medium tires remember that that's gonna be important uh, tap in a tap him a little bit as he has to uh, break for the guy in front of him coming up here and this guy he's gonna serve his penalty but he just sits there he doesn't go to the side or anything so here I'm being able to uh, to pass icicles creating a little bit of a distance Pretty all right on that chicane. I've been driving this track a lot. I haven't really done very much uh, on this track before. So first I thought, oh, it's kind of boring. I, I don't really want to drive it, but you know, I, I knew I wouldn't possibly I could get points that were better than what I accumulated so far. But I wasn't sure about that. So at this point I'm sitting in ninth, lap 6, and given all the problems I've had at this point, yeah, I'm, o I'm okay with this position, but uh, you know, still, there's going to be people pitting for uh, hard tires, and here's Isocos again, so he should be, so I'm, I kind of let him go here because he's so aggressive which is a mistake because here comes this other guy in the Toyota and he just wants to spy because I'm r way too slow in this section so I'm sitting in there slipstream so um, catching up a bit so this is like I said, this is going to be a no-stopper. I don't need to do any fuel or anything. Going a little wide here. I have to throw in the third gear. And again, I don't want to get too close to these guys when we're going to this uh, chicane coming up here. Icicles gets a 0.5 penalty there. We see there are people ahead of us here that start to go into the tires and uh, the Toyota goes in for tire and stupidly I go in the inside here and I get tapped. I, I don't really have anything to say about that because that was too aggressive for me. For me. Luckily it doesn't affect my position at this point. So still in ninth. I do have a car behind me, someone come out from the, the pits there. Try to be careful here not to get any penalties. Successful with that. So last lap. I have icicles in front of me. 0.5. So he never, note this, he never went into pit. And at this point in the race I'm not aware of it, but he's he didn't change to the mandatory compound. So we're gonna see that later on, obviously. So he's gonna get the penalty. But at this point I didn't keep track of him. Uh, I knew he, he obviously didn't appear it now. Um, but I'm pushing on mostly to avoid to get uh, the why so thirsty that's driving behind me to get him uh, up my uh, bum here. So now we have uh, T Widows behind. We're gonna see him at the end of the race too. So he's uh, he's in his Dodge Viper, and they are really racy on this uh, on this track. So he, some, see, he uh, for some reason fell 
fell back. There. Yeah, yeah, he got a penalty. That was the deal. That's why we had him up next to us, and then he served his penalty. So on the seventh lap, last lap, ninth place. My objective is really just to finish the race in this position. But we have someone coming behind. Root beer guy, root beer livery. He got to bounce me a little bit. And he's, he's, he's weird. He, he's, uh, he's lagging. And I thought he actually went out in the sand, but and then he kind of just recovered and all of a sudden was in front of me. So I always get really nervous when I drive in front of someone lagging like that because you never really know where they are. And here we have a Mustang on our left as well, coming into my least favorite section here. So I'm just holding off a little bit. And uh, well, the Mustang is pushing in front. So now we 11 and he's going wide and I don't know why I ran into him there so I'm losing some some ground on him and this uh, T widow is behind me so he comes up in force. And you see his car is kind of battered. You see that on his paint job. And I go too close and I tap that guy. And T Widow forcing himself. And I'm just standing my ground. So I'm pushing him out a little bit. And I guess he wasn't too happy with that. So here we come in. And now it's just... Now it's a brawl. So I break and I get hit by the T Widow guy. I mean, I looked at the replay and someone else went off and uh, it's just mayhem. Uh, so I looked at the, the replay and this guy didn't even, he didn't even break. He has had full throttle and hit me. So at the end of the day, it's 12th. So like I said, the Isaacus guy got, uh, you see, he got the uh, penalty so he uh, falls down unfortunately the T widow he didn't get enough for me to uh, get him behind me so 12th place a little bit disappointing 87 points but first race first first time I compete here so thank you so much for watching if you like the video please like and I'll see you next time thank you